Hello and welcome to another instructional video for the ADS Evaluation Exam Simulation Tool which is provided by PassLeapForceExam.com If you are looking to become an ADS Evaluator for either App and Arrow or the Lion Bridge ADS Assessor Project then you need to study some heavy guidelines before doing an actual exam and you must pass that exam before you're given the job. The exam for this is actually very difficult. It wouldn't seem like it's very difficult because the search engine evaluator uh, project is a very difficult exam to pass and in fact it's so difficult they give you three at least two to three chances to pass it. However, on the ads evaluation uh, projects for App and Arrow and Lionbridge, they only give you one shot to pass the test, just one. So if you study the guidelines, which many people do, and still fail the test, and you go and, and try to take the exam and you fail it, they won't give you another chance. So with that in mind, having the guidelines and an exam simulation practice are really essential for passing the actual exam. Why these companies don't have an exam tool is unknown and this is the reason why PassLeapForceExam.com has created a tool to help people uh, understand basically for one, what the what the inside of the, the the back end of like Raider Labs, what it looks like, and how you actually do uh, uh, ads evaluations. So we're just gonna jump right into the ads evaluate evaluator exam simulation demo. And in the drop down, you'll notice there's search ads evaluation demo, user to keyword evaluation demo close match evaluation demo and the user interest evaluation demo. There is one example for each one of these and basically what it does is it just gives you an idea of what you're going to see if you decide to go for the exam simulation tool pro which has many more examples in it for you to play with and to uh, give you some good practice and uh, show you where your weaknesses are if you don't uh, uh, you know make the right adjustments uh, for your sliders if you don't uh, mark the the correct boxes for the ad creative and so forth there is one example in each one of these and those one examples just as I said give you an idea of what what it looks like on the inside uh, when you get these jobs. So having the Exam Simulation Tool Pro will really uh, help you along with having the guidelines. So what we're going to do at this point is we're just going to go and we're going to sign up for the ADS Evaluation Exam Simulation Tool and we'll take a look inside. I'm just going to use a quick password here create a password and make sure that your password is the same in both fields now the email address should be your uh, your general email address the main email address that you use for all of your stuff that should be also connected to your PayPal address this is very important you want to make sure that if you sign up for this exam simulation tool to make sure that you use the same address as your PayPal address or you may have problems getting your details right away uh, because the system automatically sends your details to you if you don't use the same email we have to verify everything and that can take some time so we're gonna go ahead and sign up for the membership level and you're just gonna click on this PayPal checkout button here and I'm going to use my PayPal balance to pay for the membership fee 
you just click on pay now and you'll get a receipt here and your details will be uh, sent to you we're going to return to merchant and this shows us uh, our gives us our receipt and we can take a look at our membership account and see what we've got here now this is a twenty five dollar one time fee and I'm gonna get to the point where I'm gonna show you uh, how to get that feedback we're back here at the home page of the ads evaluation exam simulation tool and you'll notice that when you're logged in and you have an account here that you have a link now up at the top that says ads evaluator exam simulation pro the exam simulation pro full version has 10 search ads evaluation tasks 7 user to keyword tasks 5 user interest evaluation tasks and 5 close match evaluation tasks we're in the back end of the ads evaluator exam simulation pro and it looks just like how the demo looked except for there are 10 examples in the search ad evaluation over one being in the demo the task instruction is conveniently placed here under a link if you click on that that's going to open up the task instruction exactly what you need to do we recommend having the guidelines open at the same time when going over this but if you don't have the guidelines handy and you just want a quick look to see what you have to do then you can click on that link when you're going through these you'll notice there's a slider here just like in the demo and your ad creative flags the query flags and the ad creative flag for foreign language uh, pages that don't load a bad pages a query flag that's uh, which means this might be just total gibberish sometimes or whatever so you would just click this check mark in this box here that says that it's nonsense and then click on the next task <clears throat> like I said there is 10 of these tasks in here so we're just gonna run through these really fast and that way no one here can cheat on these and we'll probably get a nice big fat zero for our test score but I just want to show you what happens when you're finished through going through and rating all of the tasks I'll we'll just grab the slider and we'll just we'll just do something like foreign language or error did not load actually probably don't want to choose that one we'll leave those alone for now we'll just put foreign language here to see what happens and we'll go through all ten of these tasks now so we've gone through and we've seen all ten of these and we just ran through really quick so that we can see what happens when we click on the complete the test button when you click on the complete the test button another page is going to open up and it will say feedback has been sent so you can see here uh, how you did and you'll notice we did kinda well actually I don't want to give away any answers here but I will just stick to this top part right here um, the feedback basically tells you where you need to go back in the guidelines uh, if you had a problem with this and if you rated it wrong where it should be if it's in the green you passed it and it'll tell you why the reason why you should choose the ratings that are in the green or where you screwed up and and what you need to do to go back and take a look at the uh, guidelines again uh, to help you um, pick up on your weak points we'll go back to the ad evaluator exam simulation pro tool and click on the keyword evaluation this is just a look inside of the keyword evaluation it basically has the same uh, setup here with the link to the task instruction if you click on that link it'll open up a page and tell you exactly what you need to do to get past that uh, evaluation this stuff is 
basically taken from the guidelines. So if you've got the guidelines handy, it's pretty much the same stuff. So you just want to go through and uh, pick your answers, move through the next task. And uh, I can't stress uh, how how cool this this tool is. And as I said before, uh, none of these other companies actually have these tests, uh, have these uh, simulation tools. And it would seem that they would want these kind of tools, but they just give you the guidelines. So having the guidelines isn't really enough to pass this. As we said before, if you want to get your test results by email, then just put your email here and go ahead and click on the send test result. And it'll send you a test result to your email, which is basically a link that will bring you back to a blank page and show you uh, not a blank page, but a off-site uh, page that shows you your feedback and, and what you need to do. So um, back to the uh, Exam Simulation Pro tool. Here's the close match evaluation, what it looks like. The task instruction link up here at the top. Uh, you will see the same uh, setup as you would if you were in the app and uh, back end uh, or the lion bridge back end uh, when you're doing these types of jobs. We'll take a look at the user interest back end. Here's the interest user evaluation page. You will go through and look at the website and see how relevant the website is for the query. The top search queries are home renovation, home construction. So you want to look at the business page that's coming up for that and yes that this does look like a page uh, that has some guys that can wreck a house pretty quickly so we would we would probably choose something like uh, possible or likely for this and uh, just go ahead and click on next task this um, also has a uh, some check mark boxes here not as many as the the previous tools um, but if the business is unrateable, you should only select this flag with no information about the business is shown. So if you click on this view business page and you don't see anything at all about the business, uh, then you would click on this and, and uh, this would flag that. And uh, the rating category descriptions, choose which one um, best fits the top search queries. The interesting thing about this is there isn't a top search queries here. I'm going to click on next next task and just go through this really quick without putting any answers and then when you're finished uh, you can click on the complete the test and as you can see we failed this miserably this is something that you do not want to do in real life so make sure that if you want uh, a job at either Appen for the Arrow project or Line Bridge as the Ad Assessor project, that you get the Exam Simulation Pro tool. Now, I told you that I was going to show you how to get the feedback, and that's really easy. One thing that I want to point out is that Appen and Line Bridge only pay now, the only payment processor that they use is Appen. They used to pay by PayPal, but they don't do that anymore. The only way that you can get paid now is through Payoneer. So, with that in mind, if you're here and you're doing the, if you're trying to get some help to pass this test, and you get the Exam Simulation Pro tool, and you ace everything, and that's going to tell you that you're ready to take the test. You may as well sign up for Payoneer at that point so that you have your payment processor ready so that when you're ready to get paid, you don't have to go through all of that. Now, if you sign up under the link on PassLeapForceExam.com and you get $1,000 uh, total loaded into your account, that means that if you work one week and get paid $500 for one week and you work another week and get paid $500, that's $1,000 total into your account. Payoneer is going to give you a $25 bonus right back into your account. So you're basically getting this tool for free and that's a really cool deal. So if you have any questions about this tool, how it works, um, or any questions about um, how 
to sign up for Payoneer or if you run into any problems using the website, if you have any problems using the tool, any problems, uh, any questions about subscription amounts or anything like that, just come on down here to the page under contact information and click on the link here that says contact me and that will give you a few different ways to actually contact. You want to get a private message, here's the email for that. If you want to contact us on Facebook, we have a Facebook link right there. You can get in touch with us at any time on Facebook. And we also have a Telegram here too in case you want to talk to us there. A lot of people use Telegram now. So uh, we hope you got some use out of this video and we do hope that you are able to pass the exam. If not, please go for the Exam Simulation Pro tool and uh, we wish you good luck and thank you for watching.